Welcome home, glorious Bitcoin truth seekers. It is Tuesday, January 5th, 7.35 a.m. here in the Arizona desert. And I do believe, all right, so BitcoinDailyView.com, all the cool stuff is there. Looking at the market against USD in general, all are doing pretty good. BTC and Ethereum are slightly in the red today. Dot's looking great. Link is looking great. Uni is looking great. Theta is looking great. And... Wow, Algo is looking great. Cardano, XLM, a lot of uh, coins that I like at least are in the green today against USD, except for, well, my biggest favorites, Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're not in the green today, but they're just barely in the red. We are really, in my opinion, having a sideways market today. There's probably lots of YouTubes out there that are like, oh my God, the super big indicator, oh this, oh that, must see this before, whatever. No, nah, man, the truth is it's a boring ass market today. It's gone sideways. But with that said, uh, against Bitcoin, looking at the crypto market, ETH is just barely in the green, ADA is in the green, XLM is in the green, Link, Uni, Theta. I like seeing that. I like seeing coins. I think definitely it's an alt season for an alt when you do see it like a theta in the green against USDT and in the green against Bitcoin. Looking good, theta. A lot of news about that recently. I think that's going to be a player. Not financial advice and entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor or a life coach. And sorry, I don't have as many charts to show you today as my computer crashed this morning when I was getting started. And I don't have time to reload all those charts. It just takes quite a while. When your computer crashes, as you know, if you're a trader and you have all these charts and stuff open, it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> anyway, uh, trading volume last 24 hours, 7.3 billion. That's nice. 3.5 billion of that on Binance and 1.4 billion of that on Coinbase. All right, Kraken and Bitstamp definitely showing up for work. Bitfinex over half a million, half, over half a, half a billion too. Nice numbers, lots of volume. Where that glorious volume is mostly on Bitcoin. Binance, it is 52% long, 47% shorts. Indecisive market as far as direction goes. So the uh, title of this video really just should be Bitcoin market sideways, kind of wimpy on the short term time frame, looking wonderful on the long term time frame. So with that said, Bitcoin daily, uh, Bitcoin on the daily chart, MACD still positive, just beginning to tilt towards negative. Yesterday was a red candle and so is today. And they have beautiful dark small wicks on them that have wrecked a good number of people. There's some stop hunting going on. If you had not noticed, looking at the three day chart, last green candle closed beautifully green. This green candle so far is in the red. So this candle closed last one on January 1st. This, so this one has second, third and fourth to go. Um, it should close. Alrighty, I don't get that. Uh, so, oh, I'm sorry, it opened. So, first, second, third, okay, then fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so tomorrow, this uh, three-day candle closes. Let's see if that closes in the red. Uh, definitely a three-day candle in the red uh, could show further sideways or a reversal. So, obviously, looking at the daily, you can see yesterday and today are, well, today's a red candle so far, and yesterday was a red candle, so it looks like we're starting to lose a little bit of steam with the MACD turning down, and that is totally fine. You can only pump so far before you have to start chilling a little bit at least. Um, uh, three days looking wonderful, and uh, let's look at the four-hour chart here for the MACD. MACD in the four-hour chart is in the red. Um, we were kind of sideways in the four-hour chart, but well above the two-minute moving average, the two-hour um, continuing sideways above the two-minute moving average looking good. Uh, MACD is trending negative, but it's actually, um, I should say it's negative, but it's trending towards the positive pretty quickly. So definitely could see uh, Bitcoin continuing to go sideways for a bit. Uh, on the 45 minute chart here, I did do a FIB basically based on when we crossed the 200 moving average on the 45 minute chart a little while ago. It just seemed like a place that lined up. FIBs are a little bit, well, I shouldn't say a matter of opinion because someone's going to say, no, they're absolutely, I know. Like I believe in the Fibonacci sequences, but sometimes where you hook them in is a matter of where it fits. Not fits to what you want to see, but just fits to the chart, if you know what I'm saying. So going back to a powerful cross above the 10 moving average here on the 45 minute chart, it looks like if we have hit a, well, a, a high for the moment, yeah, up around 34,000, 35, almost 35,000. Um, if, if we have enough data here on this run, if we're beginning to slow down a little bit, it does look like we're coming back to the uh, .236. That's at uh, 30,930. 
Also, we're getting close to the tunic moving average again, so this Fib line does move up at 30,900. This uh, tunic moving average does line up at uh, you know 31,600 or so. So really, it's staying above this that I would consider very, very bullish right now. If we do wick below the tunic moving average, big deal. We could even visit the uh, dot 382 Fib around 28,551 um, and still be very, very strong. So it's all about what Bitcoin is going to do right now. Looking at the chart, looking at the indicators. In general, like I say, long time, uh, long term time frames are still looking pretty strong. We'll have to see how that uh, three day closes to get a feel for that, you know, which way that's going to go. But in general, we're sideways. We don't have uh, prof profound upwards momentum on the short time frame. So this is cool. Bitcoin's doing some sideways action. It's got perfect, perfect bounce points on the short time frame here. That would make sense if, if it needs to uh, cool off a little bit, which it already is. Looking at this fib on the uh, two, on the four hour chart that I was working with. I mean, it, it looks beautiful there too. For the four hour chart, I might adjust it a little bit just to match the uh, tunic moving average cross. And you can see that we are, you know, visiting our dot two three six fib line just perfectly. You can see that 382 is around 28,200 and a dot five, if you really blow it, is around 2,600, well, 26,200. And all these, if you, if you look at, I mean, I look a lot of the people's charts and these are all uh, lines that seem to, these are all, uh, numbers uh, levels that people would predict as a um, as a possible balance point if we need to cool off and trend down slightly before going up of course if we break above if we stay above the dot two three two three six at a thirty thousand seven hundred I think you know if we range between uh, you know thirty thousand seven hundred and uh, thirty four or basically thirty five thousand we could range there for a while and eventually break up or below but anyway the charts looking good we're starting to cool off a little bit and if we do look at uh, Bitcoin dominance, let me actually fire that up real quick here. Um, uh, BTC dot D. There we go. Bitcoin dominance. What this is offering right now is. Uh, let me look at this on the. Uh, let me look right here. There we go. If we look at the dominance, it has taken a hit recently. Definitely has gone down a little bit, uh, or a lot of bit. So, um, with Bitcoin dominance going down and uh, the short time frames it beginning to wane a little bit in this pump, it could still keep going. We don't really know. I mean, we are in pure, you know, blue sky Lambo land, Lambo land kind of right now. So. If I was to trade this, if I was looking at a four hour chart, I would say no, I, I would not get into it until the directional index was green and the ADX was above 25, which it already is. But right now I would say that I'd be looking for confirmation uh, indicators like RSI and KRI look good, uh, wait for an oscillator looks okay. I'd really be waiting for a firm uh, confirmation and some velocity above this 236, a bounce there. And especially looking at the uh, 45 minute chart, like if I had to, you know, trade Bitcoin right now, somebody's like, you got to do it. You got to make a position, <laughs> you know, um, what I would really be doing is something I often do. I love the 45 minute chart. As you can see, we've been cruising up along uh, it. We've been we, we've bounced off a couple times too, where the wicks or the body of the candles did for a moment get below the 45 minute uh, chart. We did bounce above the uh, off, basically wicked off the 314 moving average. So. It looks like we are shaking off some of what we need to to uh, to go sideways or continue in a nice uptrend. But in general, like what I trade this chart this very moment, mm, if you're if you if, if you're a do dollar cost average person, you don't really care. I would say this is not a bad place dollar cost average. Uh, definitely not a bad place to uh, trade in if you're a long term. You know, if, if you're longing, but even with that. I'm not, like I said, not financial advice, but I still am somewhat a little bit apprehensive as we look at the three day. Um, you know, we've been up like a rocket ship to Pluto. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. We have a little bit of time before this uh, current three day candle closes. And how's that going to close? Um, if we got one or two, you know, three day candles that close in the red with a slight downtrend, the MACD to actually the, the, uh, the fulcrum of it here basically started to move towards the negative. I would definitely say it's time for a little bit of a cool off down to those lower FIB levels that we looked at. On the daily, we're already beginning to cool off for sure. So um, definitely I'll be watching this, uh, the MACD here on the daily, um, when this really does tend to 
be trending negative if we see this histogram closing that's when you will see people start to get a little shaky you might see some cells if we do cross negative or we start getting close to crossing negative and it looks like it you're definitely going to see some loose hands getting out a lot of people do trade i should say they swing the daily macd anyway we're cooling off we're going sideways with this dominance down this is giving you know also a wonderful opportunity to really really run and many many are and i look at some charts but like i say my uh this computer crashed this morning and i just gotta i'm a little bit of a hurry i gotta get going and i can't load up all the charts right now but tomorrow we will do the normal we'll go through some of the popular alts and we'll see how they're doing everybody Thank you for being part of the Bitcoin revolution, the peaceful revolution. It's a glorious, glorious, glorious day. See you tomorrow.